Peace, the kingdom of God is at hand. I just finished um, doing some work, some research work for a university, and I thought, you know, why don't I just get on the camera and chat with my audience, say hello, and share some coffee time with you. Oh. Mm. Yummy. I love cappuccino. It's so good. Um, weather is much chillier than usual. I'm grateful for this, but at the same time, um, having had a craniotomy, just like with any fracture or, you know, bone um, fracture, whenever it's cold or the weather changes, you can really feel that change in the site area. So I have been using um, warmth on my head. I actually have a new headband that my husband bought me that's red and it's awesome, but it's really tight. Um, it's funny, it says one size fits all. <laughs> I don't know if it's meant to be tight or, um, you know, you just stre stretch it and uh, make it fit your head. But, so, you can ask, how are you? Maybe you will leave a comment. And let me know how you're doing, how you're feeling. For me, I felt very emotional lately. Um, and I really, truly believe it's because the Lord is coming very, very soon. And I'm feeling that in my spirit. Um, yes, I have two pairs of glasses on reading glasses and these wonderful rose gold glasses for the light sensitivity. My chihuahua's going out on the dock to poop. Boy, can he poop. <laughs> Quite a bit. Um, yeah, so... She's doing some AI work and research. Um, oh, I did one AI um, voice for cars in Europe, and I really enjoyed that. So, um, open the boot. Close. The boot, you know, in Europe, that's the trunk. Um, ordering pizza. <laughs> Too close to the curb. Hello, Frank. Close the door. The door is ajar. So, that's really fun. I enjoy doing that. Um, I would love to have more gigs like that. Um, speaking of gigs and artistic, um, I am going to post and have posted some of my daughters, my youngest daughter. She's a brilliant artist, God-given gifts. Um, and I posted some of her work 
So do a good feed and make sure that you like, check out her brilliant artwork and buy something for yourself or for someone else because it's just awesome. She's just, she is going to have an art gallery and all of her art is going to just sell and keep people interested. Her work is very unique. Um, I like to call it prophetic prints. Um, perhaps like myself, she's a seer and can see people hurting or um, the future as the Lord shows. And she draws these beautiful, brilliant um, sketches of many of them are people in pain. Some might um, construe as being on the darker side. But you know, this world is dark and it's not our home. And um, we need to pray and support one another. So I'm quite certain that's why I'm so emotional. You know, you have, when you give yourself over to the Lord Jesus Christ and you know that secret place, the kingdom, the kingdom of God, the holy temple is in here where the presence of the Holy One is inside. You have compassion. You have love for others hurting. And you want to just share your testimonies and bring people up and make them, you know, aware of, of the Lord Jesus Christ and how much they are loved and how how things can change for them if only they would repent and turn to the Lord and keep their focus on the Lord, you know? Um, I have ideas for the next podcast I want to do. Just uh, sharing with everybody things that I have learned and want to share. Um, you know how I've often said, well, Jesus has said, no one can come to me unless the Father sends them. Well, the continuation of that verse is, for the Father himself has taught them. And the Holy Spirit has taught me so many things, so many wonderful, comforting things. Hallelujah. And um, I always want to share that with whoever's listening. Um, I know that my my videos haven't had that many views, but it I am reminded by the Holy Spirit that many are called, but few are chosen. So, and that's comforting because the the road is narrow. And few find it, say the Lord. So, you know, I'm on here not for um, views and likes and um, monetary reasons. I'm here to testify to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> mm. Did you like coffee or tea? Uh, I am definitely for coffee. Awesome. Cappuccino. I don't know if you could see in there. I have a lot of sprinkles in my cup. <laughs> and a lot of that wonderful frothy milk. Oh, I made eggs this morning. Using, um, well, egg uh, substitute using chickpea flour 
which I put a little bit of chicken bouillon in, some onion powder, a tiny bit of turmeric, um, some milk powder, and some hot water with salt, pepper, and parsley. And it came out really good. I am going to say it does not replace eggs for me. I enjoy eggs. But the one good thing about it is that it has the same amount of protein as an egg. An egg has six grams of protein. Well, so does the chickpea flour. So um, it is an awesome substitute. I honestly don't believe that if I had... If I hadn't told my son and <laughs> my daughter that it was um, not real eggs, they wouldn't have known. But, like, I think it would be great for recipes. And um, if I were going to make my egg fried rice, I don't think anybody would know the difference. And um, so I made that this morning with potato pancakes. And uh, my black um, refried beans and some jack cheese quesadillas. And, oh my gosh, it was so good. Um, yeah. So I don't really know if I'm going to continue the Revelation recipe series. Um, I, I may... I may do that, and I may not, so we'll see. Um, but like I said, it's just one of those things, you know, you want to share it with other people because the Holy Spirit has been teaching me all along um, how to cook these special recipes that he enjoys. Praise the Lord. And I don't mind sharing them with all of you. Hopefully a few of you have tried these recipes and like them. Um, yeah, so. Wanted to get on here and say hi. And chat and let you know what's going on with me. Um, the chilly day. I'm thinking of making some tacos and I'm starting to get hungry. <laughs> I was just sitting here with one of my big giant fur baby cats and oh my gosh they're like 20 pound cats. And they are chipped and they are big and beautiful and I've actually been thinking of writing um, writing a novel, you know, from a cat's perspective. I have a lot of ideas like that. I just don't want to, uh, you know, I think time is of the essence. Jesus is coming so soon. And I want to spend my time glorifying the Lord and testifying and sharing and and helping others and so when it comes to things like um writing a novel about the cats you know from a cat's perspective and things like that i just i kind of just like let them you know fade into the background and just putting the lord first and everything because he is everything. He's wonderful. He's he's our Messiah. Yes, yes. So, um, I started watching. I'm all caught up with Deadliest Catch. Um, and I want to catch up with one of my other shows alone. I really like. It's just interesting to watch how people... Um, risk their lives, you know, for a sum of money that they might not even get. Um, but yes, I do. Um, 
I do think about you viewers and um, I know that you're being blessed for watching my videos because God's words, they are life to those who find them in health to all your flesh. So I hope that you have a good day. Um, or night, wherever you are, and know that I am thinking of you, and Jesus loves you. So do I.